Hey everybody, I want to show y'all something. My, I've known it for years, but I didn't decide to do anything about it. But I, I, we just we ordered six of these, and I figured I better make a video before I run out of them. So I still have two sets left. But these are a rack fan set. So they're 14 centimeters wide and 28 centimeters long. They're made to fit up in a vent, like up in the top of an RV right there. And this one here is made to where you can use it in your refrigerator doors. So you see like this, now this is more modern refrigerator, but it doesn't matter. Um, if you have a refrigerator door, you mount it there and it will uh, aid to the cooling and use a lot less propane or electricity on an RV. The, um, the reason that we've come to this is, and, and, and I'm gonna put everything down there at the bottom. So you'll see this panel and I'm do, I had another video. I have another video coming up on this panel. We just did some testing on it, and it came out pretty good. So that right there is Bajay RV. So it's kind of like a Cajun name. I know those by heart. So this one right here is a nine centimeter, ninety millimeter twin, and this one pulls less than I think it's seven tenths of an amp, and this one here pulls uh, right at an amp for all of this, everything, including the controls. This panel here produces a, a good five to six amps without a problem. So you can run four of these and you can run three of these without a problem. And he's gonna tell you exactly what he come up with, the, the, the reason I ordered them. Okay, so what we have here today is Titan, Titan fans. Now what these are good for, your windows condensate. Um, you might not think that much about it, but really it will leak down into your paneling, go through into the walls and then slowly but surely rot your trailer out. It's not like a house. There's a lot of movement in the house. But you usually park your RV for a couple of months because you're not going camping. This is what makes sense. Now, you know when you, if you have a leak, and say in the back bedroom around a vent, you have just a drip. It makes the bed wet or something, um, or the carpet wet in your RV, your camper, your motor home, your travel trailer, whatever you want to call them. And it, it seemed like that's a little spot you put a little bucket, maybe some damp rid. A lot of people use that. It's kind of expensive to keep using that. They'll put that in there. What they don't realize is that damp rid and things like that only work during the heat and cool cycle. So what happens during the rest of the time? A lot of damage. So you might have damp rid. You might think you're doing great, but it don't solve the problem. So if you can't figure out where the leak is, like around a vent or around a sewer plumbing vent or just this bad seam in your roof or your wall or like one of the RVs we found out here was fairly new that was just destroyed. This is your solution. It is a major solution. So now in my case, what I'm going to tell you is that you would mount this fan in the bottom of a cabinet. You would crack your vents just a little bit and then you would make you an intake air either through the outside wall or somewhere else, somewhere you can shutter it and close it up um, when you're traveling or for other purposes. But if you place this low enough, anywhere you can for intake air, even if you had to put in another one of these or some type of a vent, then you would have the ability to, when the sun comes up and the moisture in your RV starts to vaporize, then you would actually, because it would rise, you would then be able to push it out. So if it, at night, when it condensates, it eventually re-vaporizes and does the damage to the glues in the paneling, does the damage to the wood, and then some of it will come back out. This is a way that you can use forced fan and a solar panel to constantly change over the air in your RV. So like I said, the sun will come up. When it does, it's going to be immediate that this fan comes on. This produces five, I think it's 5.7 or something amps is what I got out of this. So it's about an 85 watt panel sold as 100. That's pretty common and, and, and it's good priced. And the cool thing is it is SIGS, C-I-G-S, okay? So that is a very durable, like unisolar type of material. It's not a, this looks monocrystalline, but it's not, this is not. It's, it's a mimic job, so it looks good on your RV, but it, it does work well. So even at starting out at seven to eight volts, this will kick on. This fan is designed to have these slides 
to where you can mount it up inside your vent, up in the roof line of your vent. If you want to use it there, you, you can use it there too. But make sure you crack a window or two on the opposite end of your RV. So you'll see here it shows it mounting it. And all the paperwork, this is very clear paperwork and it comes with numerous kinds of mounting abilities. So you can change up how you want to do it. Numerous different ways and different uh, hardware for it. Um, I'm, I've been impressed. I've installed, what, four now? Four yeah, of these? Four now. So four of these. And everybody tells me when they walk in their RV, the musky smell is gone. It don't stink in there anymore. And you know how they are with paneling and all that, the heat and cool cycles. They stink when you get in them and you have to air them out. Well, this and one of these panels completely made it to where the windows didn't have water beads all over it made it to where the floor, the, the carpet, didn't have that damp feel. And, and it cleaned it out so well that this one, one guy sent me another guy who he liked it, who so sent me another guy. So since January, I've put in four of these and I've already ordered 10 more because this summer is going to be busy for me. Um, I, I don't sell these. So the links down below the video is going to tell you where to go. Not, I, I don't sell them, um, but they're Titan. That right there, they're a hell of a company. I've never had a problem with these. Uh, those those Kev Techs, whatever the hell, I don't buy them. I, they burn up and, and they hang up. I had one guy had smoke coming out of his vent. I don't, only Titan guys. And these are roller bearing. These are, look at this cog, you see that? That is some heavy permanent magnets in them. And look at that gauge, look at that gauge. This is a no punk scenario as they say this is serious so they these are built assembled very well look at the craftsmanship so i'm telling you when i when i suggest this you can build a set but who knows will you have the same thing where you can reverse and change and all that no now once you wire this up there's plenty of wire there's like 15 feet of wire with this you can also take this panel and you can put it to your coach battery and from your coach battery, wire this. This one here, look out of that thing. I mean, we're talking hardcore. This one here, so you got your refrigerator vent. You're going to take this one here and you're going to mount it just like that on your refrigerator vent. So I actually got it backwards. This is incoming air. So you want it to come inward. Has numerous machine screw fittings so you can put any brackets you want with it and they supply look at this i haven't had to buy i've got armloads of these left because they give me so much i love it the uh, refrigerator one it comes with a look at this banded right there 22 gauge heavy plenty heavy i mean for this that's <laughs> it's overdone overkill inside your rv it allows you to set your timers for different timers on it or it allows you to set it for auto auto control and it is a very very nice controller now you can use these and you can also use them with a thermal switch and a thermal switch let me grab one right quick like this one right here this one here is a 50 celsius so 50 Celsius is about 123, 125 degrees. You can take this and you can put it in as an interrupter so that this will kick on. You can actually bypass all of this and run directly through your harness. That's your harness right there. And there's your wires to your harness. You'll see they're, they're accessible right there. And you can put this in there and feed 12 volts to it that just omits this just for the purpose of having when the refrigerator kicks on. So you'll put like a three feet lead and you'll put it up there um, around the refrigerator cooling fins up in the top and it'll kick this thing on to push air in and give you much more effective cooling for your refrigerator, your, your gas refrigerator. So I just want to show you this. The second thing is, is this one here also can be used very effectively um, in your bathroom. So if you want to exhaust in your bathroom, the, the uh, parts are very, very effective. Uh, instead of buying a $200 or $100 Fantastic Fan Set, you'll see how everything in here is set up for it, and it is very descriptive. So you're not going to, uh, you're, you're not going to mess this up. All right, so guys, I want y'all to know, 
RVs die, RVs rot because of moisture. And if you park one for six months and you don't touch it, snow gets on the roof, snow melts off the roof. It gets on it, or it just sits out in the floor of the sun and rain hits it. Condensation gets drawn up into it. And at night, it gets into everything. It, it's, it goes back to water droplets at night and rots it. I don't care if you got a fiberglass model, I don't care, it, it does it. So if you want to stop that and prevent that, you need a solar panel, you need one of these. These are also uh, perfect for that same purpose if you have a very small RV. Same thing, you can use it, same thing. So I'm giving you some ideas. You, you can see this, I'm sure people are getting a mental picture. Um, now I personally prefer because your coach batteries die if you don't keep some amps in them. I personally prefer putting this on there and I'll also put down a little charger that works awesome with this. Um, I'll grab it right quick. Okay, so the charge controller that I would suggest is this one. Now the reason I suggest is because I've been running these outdoors in nothing more than a little metal toolbox. It's not sealed um, to run outdoor lights for years. They're epoxied, pretty heavy. I haven't had any corrosion. I haven't had any problems. They're easy to hook up and they have a basic load function that would work great for that and provide the exact voltage. The thing is, is that this here could be easily ran with 14 gauge wire from this panel. You just get your MC4 connectors to blanks and every one of these are about 10 bucks. And they, they have a very nice pulse width modulation. So when you get up to about 14 volts, they'll do a little surge and then drop off and then they'll shut off. Uh, not many of them do that. This one here is pretty basic, but it does, it does do that. And it mounts simple, very light. It'll handle 10 amps. You don't have to worry about a fire. Um, but there you go. These are made by Titan. This, this one here is made by Yoshan, uh, which is Wise Smart Industries. And so the fans are made by Titan. They do come in numerous different sizes. So say you'd want the 14 centimeter by 28 centimeter if you have like a 25 or longer. If you have a less than 25, you'd probably want this one in the middle. And if you have like a 16 footer, you'd want this. But do that. You understand the common sense. I'm sure people realize what I'm talking about because if you own a motorhome, you absolutely understand what I'm saying and how I'm explaining this. But there's your parts, there's your solution. This is one you can leave without fear. There you go. All right, guys, we're gonna show you that. Look for that video on that uh, panel there. And we're gonna probably do an install and show you how we install it, so stay tuned.